tell you about a groundbreaking surgery involving artificial intelligence that's making headlines in the medical community. It helped a quadriplegic man on Long Island regain feeling and movement in his arm and hand. Today, he and his team of doctors spoke about this medical miracle. Here's News Force Greg Circle. to my cheek, itch my chin. Keith Thomas's simple arm movements are now giving hope to 100 million paralysis victims around the world. Being Scott's to let me, like I can do a lot. The Massapequa man has been paralyzed from the neck down since a pool accident in Montauk three years ago. It was always uh, one step forward, two steps back, and we were just praying for his survival. Keith's sister has helped care for him since that tragic July day. So open your hand. So it was fitting earlier this year that Michelle Bennett's touch was among the first things her brother felt since the accident, all thanks to what doctors are calling a breakthrough procedure. Now I'm just waiting to regain more strength so I can wipe the tears with my eyes. Keith Thomas's tears are ones of gratitude for the Northwell Health team now working to restore his arm movement and his feeling. Keith is, is the true pioneer here and, and really doing something that hasn't been done before. Chad Bowden led the clinical study designed to help Thomas overcome his paralysis. So we're the craniotomy. In a 15-hour surgery last March, doctors implanted five microchips in Thomas's brain. That computer technology, with the help of artificial intelligence, has reconnected Thomas's brain with his spinal cord and the rest of his body. We actually had to have Keith awake during a small portion of the surgery. He felt his thumb, he felt his finger. Thomas's doctor says, in effect, the surgery created an electronic bridge bypassing the 45-year-old's injury. I didn't think that was possible at first, all this movement. And go forward, I'm thinking maybe it is. Thomas's belief has been strengthened by his dramatic improvements since the surgery. He can move around, he could do more for himself, really. And I'm just grateful that everything is progressing. And Keith Thomas's progression means that others will soon get the chance to take part in the same clinical study. He's not doing it just for himself, uh, he's doing it for all the others out there. Showing the world, his supporters say, recovery is possible. In Manhasset, Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.